does it feel to drive this car <laughs> as a delivery vehicle? It's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it brings joy to some people. Let's just say that. Yep. Let's see if anyone complains that their that their cheese is slid on their burger, huh? <laughs> Good morning comrades, as you already know from the previous videos, this is the week of Car Freitag or Car Freitag was supposed to be taking place but due to the current world health situation it's not responsible to do so and thereby we are very sad, of course for the business but also Car Freitag is a very important event for us where we want to share our love with the Nürburgring, uh, for, for Nürburgring, for cars, with everyone who's coming by, so we decided to do something special. <laughs> yeah, what we're going to do is actually we've got, um, I think about 10 or 12 deliveries in the next two days. We're going to, we basically put a couple posts out that we're going to deliver dinner to several families with the GT2. Yeah, because it's already the fastest taxi in the world, so it might as well become the fastest delivery vehicle in the world, right? Yeah, and it's something that we like to do. I mean, we, we're donating the food and um, working with Lindenhof down the street. And like I said, it's just something we want to do because this really is a weekend that we enjoy. And we're really bummed that we don't get to do what we want to do this weekend. So we might as well have a little bit of fun and share that with other people as well. Yeah, because usually we have a food truck here, lots of exactly. activities that we share with people, something that you can see in a couple of videos back. I made a nice compilation of that. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go to Lindenhof, show you their setup. It's actually down the road, so we don't have to drive much, but after that, we'll be driving uh, and bringing the delivery sent in a bit. We'll tell you more about the dynamics of this whole thing. There's that sink. <laughs> Ready to rock? Yeah, let's go, let's do it. So we don't have to drive far. Oh, huh, we already have the, the first boxes ready. <laughs> All right, so we have arrived at our dear neighbor's Lindenhof, where we're going to be delivering. We had to do some extra uh, rearrangement because the big box would not fit in the in the trunk compartment of the GT2. Uh, so we're gonna have here the gloves. Yep. You will be uh, delivering food because you actually have a certificate. I do. I've got my food handling license. Yeah. <laughs> of course, that's, right. yeah, that's very important. Um, uh, it's also packed inside, and since all the orders have been paid for by Apex. There is no need for like uh, taking care of, of money, of payments, just like putting the box down, letting the customer taking, uh, taking it out. Also, the food is wrapped three times inside. This is gonna go in with us. It's gonna go with us, okay, no problem. Now, the reason why I'm telling this disclaimer to you guys uh, is of course important for everyone who has questions, but actually there's also a very sad reason because Lindenhof started like offering a food for takeout and also for deliveries. And the first day when they started doing that, uh, police showed up because someone said, oh, there is a lot of activity happening here. You need to go check it out. That's illegal, oh, coronavirus and this and that. You know, it's very sad because like, it's a very difficult situation we're like in right now. And uh, you, like, you need to support the locals. Everyone is suffering from it. And I know you have to be careful, but some things are go a bit too too far. So I hope that the person is watching it who did that and yeah, I hope you're proud of yourself. We definitely are. And I'm very proud of Lindenhof for doing all of this. And yeah, well, let's talk about the good things and uh, let's go to our first order. Okay, I'll okay. be handling it with care. <laughs> all right, see you in a minute. Bye-bye. Okay. First stop, Adna. Adna, here we come. I was just saying the reason why I explained the whole dynamics thing because people found it necessary to yeah, comment, to comment, yeah. to, to call the police. Yeah, it's actually actually crazy what's going on right now. I mean, I think everyone needs to be responsible. You know, I'm being very cautious with our family. I mean, it's really only a couple of Apex people that were around. Mm -hmm. um, and I know what each of those people are doing. You know, Misha goes and works all day for Remac and then is at Apex and doesn't go anywhere but the grocery store. Same thing for my family. We're at Apex all day and we're not going anywhere. Uh, in fact, I've not even been to the grocery store, just Tiffany. Tiffany goes to the grocery when we need to, and that's it, you know? So we're really focusing on limiting exposure, and I think it's obviously very important for everybody to do that right now. Mm -hmm. But there's obviously a few people around that, you know, watch on that and like, oh man, you know? <laughs> yeah. I've heard of people gathering to pick up food places and getting the cops called on them and stuff. It's, yeah. It's tricky. I mean, of course, it's important to uh, maintain social distancing and like follow the rules because obviously we want this to be as over right. as soon as possible. But yeah, there is also a bit. There, there's a fine line between 
yep. what we're thinking things. But anyhow, uh, about the positive things, we're going to, I don't know, and probably you would like to see something like, uh, oh my god, the fastest de delivery car, we're going to see how fast we can do it, but no, I mean, we have to obey the speed limits, the rules, and actually, uh, as of yesterday, I believe, on the autobahns uh, they want They want to do it. They haven't done it. It's a request. It's a request. It's a request. Ah, okay. I thought there was an actual rule. No, it's not a rule yet. They're trying to get it put in place, but it's not been put in place yet. Yeah, so the German government is trying to warn, like, the parts of the, like, political parties want to have a speed limit of 130 on the autobahn. Right now, it's unlimited on some sections, but they want to have it 130. And it's not because of the environmental reasons or etc., but because now you really want to keep people out of the intensive care. So people who do would have accident if they would drive as fast as they could. Uh, yeah, they want to avoid that. So there's actually, for the first time ever, I might say that the speed limit is actually a good idea. Except for the obvious, like uh, what you're talking about inside the cities. How does it feel to drive this car <laughs> as a delivery vehicle? It's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it brings joy to some people. Let's just say that. Yep. See if anyone complains that their that their cheese is slid on their burger, huh? <laughs> yeah, we need to put the extra disclaimer. Your food definitely not will be cold, but it might be a bit. It won't less be pretty. Presentable. <laughs> no, we're trying to drive as smooth as possible. I guess. I guess you can say that good delivery drivers are being trained on the never Yeah, they're smooth. They have to be smooth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice and inviting stretch of road. It's, it's dangerous actually. And, and that's actually, uh, I believe, the stretch where the Toyota chief test driver was killed. Is it? Okay. Yeah, 2012, 13. Yeah, he, he found that the industry pool was not sufficient enough to test the Lexus LFA. And yeah, things happened. I'm just thinking that the first address is, and I don't know if the track would have been open. We could have gone. We could have gone the shortcut. I mean, we're within the time window too. Yeah. Maybe that's something we should repeat like later in the year. <laughs> we could do like a one-time special. <laughs> we are. Oh, now it's in order. Yeah, we we live now. Good, Freimis. So, here's an Ersten packet. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy. Now, you're probably gonna ask us, so why did he give you money? Because you said the food was for free. <laughs> we said, yes, we do offer it for free, but if you feel that you would like to contribute or that you feel that you can actually miss the money but you just want to have the food delivered by the gt2 feel free to donate anything you like either the full amount or half the amount or whatever uh, and then we will put it again in the 500 euro pot and then we will continue the donation so uh, because of that now someone will have uh, well yeah chance. so we'll get to do another 40 euro now because they just gave us 40 euro yep so we can do another 40 euro delivery and um that's how we keep on going. Exactly. So we'll, we'll add on to it and we probably won't get it done in our two days now. But we might, <laughs> we'll pick a weekend where we extend it out a little bit further. Yep. That could be our delivery over the track. When exactly. The track <laughs> You're right there. I think we could have got more. We could put the other box on top still. <laughs> I'm, I'll be honest with you. That smells so damn good. I yeah. might open the box up and just have a, have a burger on the way. <laughs> We can do two orders at the same time, but we cannot do that with taxi labs. Another reason why this would be like a better business <laughs> to the delivery. Yep. It can be more efficient. Up five? Up five. Nice. I mean, pretty much equals the, the taxi revenue. We might, we might, yeah. <laughs> we might be able to make a living out of this. Yeah. <laughs> A total to 70 euros. Where do you want to go tonight? Hard earning cash at the Nürburgring. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that sounds like two more meals we can do next, next weekend, huh? Yeah, or even more, depends on who orders what. And the fast forward into the evening, you can definitely say we watch from dawn till dusk. 
<laughs> we did. We <laughs> things don't change. It was fun though. And actually, yeah, things uh, indeed don't change because uh, we did deliver deliver lots of smiles to people. Yep. Yeah, that was, was that was very cool. It was really cool. A lot a lot of people that we never met before that we just uh, yeah. I don't know. I said it was a lot of fun. It was actually cool seeing people get excited and people get excited about the car. We let a kid sit in it and, you know, it was fun. It was, really it, it fun. was very cool. So yeah. we're going to do it tomorrow again, but yep. for tomorrow's video to keep things differently, we're going to have like a small Q&A that we're going to post on our Instagram and see what, uh, what kind of questions we're going to answer. So more of the same, but different for tomorrow's video. Thank you very much, everyone who has supported us in this amazing cause. And we are going to go get some food ourselves now in Lindenhof. So let's see what they no, have. We're going to get it and take it home. Yeah, we're going to deliver <laughs> it home. <laughs> deliver it to Apex. <laughs> and I got myself some asparagus soup and schnitzel. Yum. <laughs>